Yo. Sons of bitches. <laughs> so this is Planet of Lana, which came out today. Um, this one I'd eyeballed during one of the... Some director showcase. <clears throat> Long time ago. Don't know how it's supposed to be. I don't think it's supposed to be bad or anything, but I haven't looked into the details, because... Probably going to be short. And the art style is really nice. I think it's just kind of a cinematic 2D platformer. Your, your usual, um, but hopefully the art and whatever story they're going for is solid. What's up, Cora? That's Cora, right? Well, yeah, so we'll run through this. Um, I'm gonna go to bed a little earlier tonight than yesterday. I got some work to do tomorrow, and then I want to be back. Um, by three, so we can do the show, so the Shoney, the the Shoney showcase, the Sunny showcase at a uh, three p.m. CST, so four p.m. EST, one p.m. EST. It's been an hour long, so I'll try to be back for that, so we can stream that, and hopefully tomorrow I also get Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I'm giving up on my original, the original copy. Uh, tomorrow would be the earliest day that my replacement copy would. Be. I set up the informed delivery for USPS, and they sent me a picture of mail today that I never got. Instead, I got junk mail. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're just, like, sending mail to the wrong place. The thing is, the mail they sent me was not really for me anyways. It doesn't matter, even if it's the same address. We'll see. Hopefully we get tears tomorrow. If not, we'll probably do... Um... Depends on how long this is. I could do Metal Health Singer tonight. Let's see, maybe today will be a short day. We'll just do this. It really depends on the length of it. I'm gonna go get out, grab something to drink later with my brother. Okay, well, let's get started then. Um, yeah, I don't actually, what is, who are the devs behind this? I need to do more research on devs. Uh, wishfully. Of course, it just cuts straight to the publisher. Always. Studios. Swedish indie game studio founded in 2018. This is their first game. Cool. Well, hope it works out. I mean, if the game's any good. Huh. I mean, I hope, I hope it works out for anybody who makes any game, but yeah, that's not gonna change whether the game ends up not being really good. <laughs> I'll see. The wide world of uh, 2D puzzle platformers, cinematic platformers. Uh, see. Okay. 
This is on Game Pass on PC also. Sounds like it has some budget for a debut game. The thing is, when I look up these devs, you never know if they've been working in like a bunch of other groups. Oh, this song sounds really familiar. Can't quite name it. It just sounds like a style of her. Oh, the art's crisp, though, for sure. I mean, that's the big uh, the deal. Yeah, the sound, though. Sounds like. It's like whimsical. It's not like Danny Elfman. It's kind of that like, I don't want to say generic. Not quite. Not John William. Yeah, what am I thinking? Who am I thinking? Of? Definitely like a movie kind of orchestral thing. The big adventurous. That could be something you'd hear maybe like in a Spielberg movie. It's <laughs> fucking dead. I don't know what we're gonna be. I think it's a sci fi thing over like hundreds of years or some weird shit. It does have kind of like a swashbuckling adventure kind of vibe uh, musically. It could have just been dead. Yeah, switching to high graphics helps with the hitching event. Yeah, but when I look up these devs, it's like, you know, they'll have like a new studio, but it's like they've all worked on stuff before. Maybe I should spend some more time looking up individual folks. I really need to follow developers across games and stuff, too. Just so I can know when new games are coming out as well. Like, a lot of time I'll just kind of freeball it, but there's lots of games that probably only me and a couple people have played that I'd like to know what sequels for. I'll probably just never look it up. Yeah, the art style is cool. Kind of like... Oh, one sec.
Talk shop. Got some work stuff to do tomorrow. I just had to clarify some of it and might be doing some some lifting this weekend. Maybe maybe next week. Wrangling some people together. We did some uh, vending machine lifting. But two people last time, but it was a little it was a little shaky, so we're gonna get a third person. Talking it up. Anyways, thank you guys for waiting. Well, it's getting like evening in the game. Cool. It's limbo all over again. <laughs> what was the first of these like simple cinematic puzzle platformers? I mean, you like the first. I mean, you know, you get the old cinematic platformers like Prince of Persia and shit, and uh, what was that old cinematic platformer where you're just like a dude running in like a fucking like an apartment building? <sighs> Let me look it up here. There's some ancient ones. Another world. Uh, no. Prince of Persia is one of the first. There's stuff like Odd World and shit like that. that obviously, these big ones, but uh, I think really, I mean, if you look at the list of like cinematic platformers, there's like a like almost ten, fifteen year break until Limbo. Outside of like your Prince of Persia's and stuff. Like Heart of Darkness and all that crap. I think Limbo really kicked him off. Maybe not, but in terms of indie ones, man, I feel like Limbo is the one that like really kind of kicked out of these. Limbo has a lot more puzzles in it than most of these do these days. But that was a big one for sure. Influential. Hello? Hmm? Big hug. <laughs> Is there parents? Is definitely doesn't turn on a dime. It's very typical cinematic 2D platformer. 
like almost identical to like the Olympus and stuff. Same jump height, the time it takes to jump, very similar. Takes a while to kind of get down and flip around because it's more animation to lock. If it's not broke, don't fix it, I guess. If I'm going to focus, focus on other shit than this. Spider box. Seems to have very loud, uh, kind of like bassy noises. Which makes the mixer kind of inaccurate. It does pick up on the mixer pretty loud, but they're not really. I feel like I've played a game that's like the same plot. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Like a movie? Like Cowboys vs. Aliens or something? Maybe yeah, that's a... Where it's just like... Simple people getting invaded by like machines. Bot in the back. And if the sounds weird, let me know. We can change it. Up. It's a little loud on your guys' end, but it's really hard to tell. Might be really bassy. they don't chuck the water. Good for us. <laughs> Puzzle number two. Creatures. I wonder if there's like hidden ship. Okay, Limbo's, or if it's a bit more just focused. Because Limbo and Inside and all that have some pretty. They have quite a bit of secrets though. It's one of those where if you jump, you move quicker. A lot of these, like, my animation lock ones do. We don't really have much attachment with the village. I mean, we only saw him for two seconds, but... <clears throat> can understand the... 
the scale here. No? Oh, Phenotopia had that too. They kidnapped the whole village. <clears throat> Damn, I'd find a tree, dude. Turning them into oil and green. Yeah, the art's really nice, though. I mean, we'll see on the rest of it, but let's see the art failing us. They hit us with a lot of different hues and stuff, time of day, and already been in a couple environments, so... We're not more than 20 minutes in. Oh, I got the letterboxing. <laughs> Act medic. It's called letterboxing, right? The black lines and shit. What is the psychological, like, fact of, like, letterboxing? Why does it seem more cinematic to us? Is it just because cinema is always used in, or just, like, conditioned to think that way? Or is it actually something about, like, narrowing the vertical focus? Like, make things seem more cinematic? Like, on, a, like, a, like a psychological level? I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm sure there's... A bunch of theory on it. Some big, um, what is it, a tent? A tent kind of cloud? There's probably a real name for that kind of cloud. Reminds me of, uh, Castle in the Sky and shit. Definitely one of my favorites. I just really like the feeling of adventure in the sky, kind of. Adventure. Vibes. Yeah, I saw you uh, gushing over it. I'm pretty hyped to play. But I'm gonna wait till Yoshi P gives me some free time. Oh, I have the money. Do you plan on playing FF16, man? Get that soaking. OST. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I was gonna buy anything, I would've bought Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> We're doing this for now. We're working tomorrow, but I'll be back for the Sony showcase at 3 p.m. EST. Ha <laughs> 
No, I'll be right now. Be screaming out. Can we get this thing to like fall on this? I guess you can't. Oh, probably. <laughs> Look good to me, but okay, he does like hit the ledge. <laughs> this guy's not very, uh. Not a very good predator. Most animals completely like avoid all contact or any threat as any kind of like micro damage could end up just killing them. <laughs> this guy's like fucking jumping off of fucking cliffs and shit. Definitely pretty simple gameplay wise for sure. Definitely not reinventing the wheel that was popularized 13 years ago. <laughs> we'll see if they have some unique mechanics they're gonna introduce here. It's gonna mostly be the bread and butter stuff. At that point it would just depend on the pacing of the story shit. It does kind of have like a John Williams thing going on here. Like a little bit. Can I move up? Momentum. Come on, Jimmy. Could always 
He's just fucking jumping through shit. <laughs> Yeah, the letterboxing thing is interesting. I really need to look up the psychology of that. Like I said, I brought it up earlier. I don't know if you guys are here. Um, the like psychology of like letterboxing or whatever. Where they put the black lines on the top and the bottom. Like, is that something that's just been conditioned in us from, like, use, traditional use through movies? Or is that something that, like, that narrowing of a focus actually, like, make things more cinematic to us? Like, more engaging? I'm not sure. I'm sure, like I said, there's probably a lot of theory on it. I'd like to find out. Because this game, every time a cutscene happens, it'll jump into it. The letterbox mode. I like the atmosphere here, the sound design and the visuals. Yeah. <laughs> Does it work though? And your guys' focus is <clears throat> just beyond me and the game. How does that work, right? Because there's two different kinds of focus because you guys know that you're watching something overlaid over something else. Like that ruins some way. Just have it on my camera. I like this here. everybody different. I feel like it's more of a a learned thing anyways. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. That's why I'd like to look it up. Can I rehide? No, but I'll lie. It takes a while for you to like attach and move to shit. You have to wait for contextual options. You can't just walk up and press X anywhere. Like the right spot. I mean, I think in the case of a game like this, it's to kind of emulate movies and stuff, right? Like, that's my thing. Do we just do it because movies do it? And it reminds us of movies, and therefore it makes the game feel more cinematic, or is it actually, like, a reason? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait forever for this shit. Look, man, I figured this little rat could, like, get away quick enough. Ridiculous. Oh. I thought the guy was gonna come after me for a bit longer. He doesn't care. 
There's a very specific way we're supposed to do it. today if you should be gave me some free game time but I think I'll just wait till 0.5 uh, 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 however many years it's gonna take for the next expansion my eyes Excuse me. This is what we just did. We really want like a flashback to something we did 20 minutes ago. I think revealing some other story moments or. Pushing the story forward a bit would be better. Yeah. screen. That was it. We just saw part of a puzzle that I already did. Look, man. I want to like, yeah. I feel like I gotta like connect <laughs> with the family and with like show some stuff that happened like with him and his sister a long time ago or something, right? The villagers. Like, yeah, I get that he would be like, you know, distraught that like all of them would be kidnapped. But like, can I like? I have to get there, right? Like, it's not just completely. Like, Oh, Here's how I, uh... I'm playing Planet of Lana. Jealous? I mean, you guys are pretty much playing it too. There's not a whole lot when it comes to the gameplay side of things. As expected, though. I'd say so far the pace is kind of questionable. And the art and sound design's good. The story's a bit slow for something with the way it starts. Pet the critter. Hello, critter man. Critter friend. Like, these are the highlights right here when they just, like, zoom out. <laughs> Hit you with, like, the landscape shot. Like, so far, that's been, like, the biggest appeal. I, I mean, I'm interested in the sci-fi stuff, but... I haven't really done anything with it. 
Ima. Hola, I'm muy. A little follower. Yeah, he's good. He jump. Pizza to do. Cheap. E mamui. The heartburn explosion pizza. It's a mistake. Feel tired already from eating. <laughs> Super unhealthy, I guess. Ima. Yeah, it's Domino's. I just wreck, wreck my heart. Or my uh, my my heart, my acid. Pepperoni. Hola, I'm muy. Yeah, not very, it's not bad, but it's like yeah, cheap. Get like a day or two of food from it. Want something. Tomorrow, though, I mean, probably not even eat until I get my way home. I might pick up some. Quick food before the Sony event. Ima. Hola, I'm muy. Tiai. A moth cooked in the dudes. Well, I want to be eating there again. Yeah, it's been about five or six months since I Domino's. I think. According to my. Purchase history. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not big in a little Caesars. <clears throat> mm -hmm. An actual movement of where to send them. Yellow. They're cheap, which is nice, but man, the quality feels really bad. At least the one I had out here. Ima. Are shut down though, so maybe it was bad. We got a different place out here that's a little cheaper, but problem is they don't have the one down here anymore. It closed because of COVID. So there's one like 10 minutes away if I drove, but I'm like, eh. Yeah, I think it depends on the chain or the uh, the shop itself. Goodbye, buddy. I guess this will go from like nice nature areas to more sinister bits as we get closer. Yeah, I just don't do it often. It's it's. I usually get a. Like shitty cheap pizzas from Walmart.
Please always return back. What am I gonna use him as bait? Pizza. And we're using this monster to like Hola. to kill man or not to kill, using it as bait. Could be killed. And into some monsters den. We're freaked, dude. Where are the monsters? <laughs> Damn. He's good. He's real good. So there is side stuff to find. Yeah. Le pizza. go full heartburn explosion mode in a bit and go grab like a coke from the store. Yeah. yeah, I've wanted to stream it. I don't think I have it right now though. Nothing like abandoned wear or anything. No, I don't have it. Yeah, I played a little bit of it with my cousin a long time ago, but that was about all I can remember of it. Lego Bayland. Look comfy for sure. Oh, is there? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll have to look into it all. I don't even know where you get it anywhere. You'd probably have to go to some abandoned wear site. It's not like that's supported the I doubt it's for sale anyway. Yeah, I want that like really like early 3D you see like just they didn't know what they're doing wild man jank shit your soul how long is that game anyway it's like a few hours long 
The Brixter's Revenge. Yeah, seems like you would need to run it on a virtual machine or have an actual patch. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to learn about all that. I would. If I could just, just boom, just play it right now, I'd play it after this game. The problem is it doesn't seem easy to set up. Spending an hour or two figuring it out. <laughs> Not today. What was that color? Like I'm supposed to memorize that. These guys are just too fat. Who made these machines, man? Why did they make it so they couldn't thin themselves a bit? the product of in-depth research done on the game. Whoa. Not that it's bad, it's just like, I assume I have to have the game and then like I run it through here. in here. Hey builder. <laughs> cactus. When's the next cactus playthrough, dude? I'll 
of in it. Well. Was that your last stream of Honkai? What was your last like game? Was that Doom? Yeah. I've been watching some Doom. I picked up that My House wad today everybody's been talking about. And I thought about doing a shooter, but I'll probably do Metal Hell Singer. Maybe I'll do Dark Forces too. That's old school doom though. <laughs> yeah. One man's mission to please everyone pleases no one. Oh yeah, a new league started, right? After act crazy, yeah. Is Bob Breath of the Wild? Cool. Oh, yeah, I like Breath of the Wild. Hopefully you enjoy it. Are you gonna take a break from the Witcher or are you getting that for later? Just run the the game through this EXD or something. My personal ISO Lego Island. They wouldn't put some kind of crazy spyware in a Lego Island patch, <laughs> would they? That would be some big brain shit, man. You gotta get a whole lot of people with that. Especially if it's on GitHub with the fucking horse code. I'll just have to run it a bit. Let's see. Let's see what it's like after this game. Oh, we need to move this guy. Oh, I'm gonna have to run down there. The vampire. Oh, gotcha. Have you had to do a lot of grinding and shit? A lot of leveling? Tips for the Witcher. Can I just leave this motherfucker here and then control him from up top? I'm not 
sure. We'll have to test the limits here. I don't know how sturdy those pro controllers are. The old Nintendo shit could take a bomb going off, but... I don't know about any more, man. Yeah, for sure. These days, I mean, everything breaks easy. The Actraiser crew. Look, I, tomorrow I gotta get up early and go work, and then we got the Sony thing. Maybe Tears of the Kingdom. I don't got time. <clears throat> we'll have to. We'll have to get to it later. Tamaki. <laughs> First, it's Lego Island. Now it's Actraiser. We're playing Planet Alana. Does anybody care about Planet Alana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, for snow. Blana. Whoa. Big burn. All these Tears of the Kingdom players telling me what to play. Play Demon's Crest now. I want to make sure I've got all those set up for the future. For the impromptu. Okay, I will. I've done that like twice. Or I'll jokingly play a game immediately. Not something I do often. I think it was mostly just for uh, rail skin. Kaizo Trap now! Kitty, play Planet of Lana now! Okay, I will. What is this? System Shock will be coming soon, though. this motherfucker at risk, man. What? How did he see him up there? like behind a wall, brother. I guess you're not supposed to like distract this guy. You're supposed to send him up natural. I 
Looks like you could just see them there through the ground. God, the 2D, 3D planes are all out of whack. Somehow that man on the same plane as me got squished, but I could just walk out. <laughs> oh shit. Bros. He's right, man. I don't think there's any of those I don't want to play. Except maybe Hawk. <laughs> Forbidden Memories is unchanged shit for sure. Yeah, I'll my place in Hawkeye someday. I gotta do, uh, before I do Days of Ruin, I need to do a dual strike, though. I did just watch all of uh, Reboot Camp, the Advanced Wars thing. 12 hour commitment. <laughs> My brother comes in, he's like, hey, we got some Jehovah's Witnesses at the door. And then he's like, literally, don't don't answer the door. They're like right underneath us. Here come. Jehovah's coming. Honkai is a 12 hour commitment. That's not too bad. I don't want to install some root kit on my fucking computer. <laughs> can, I, can I put it on my PS5? Someday. Okay, maybe I'll do it on PS5 someday. <laughs> Insert game here now. <laughs> Those aren't Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Those are KD viewers. Magenta, orange, yellow, purple, red. Dude, I play Lego Island right after this. I just have to have it set up. <laughs> Don't think. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing Tears, man. Hopefully tomorrow. I <laughs> know, oh, right? Ooh. I've been waiting to blame the USPS. I've been playing cool games, though. I've had fun with these. Although I want to do some stuff that's more than one day long. That's not not just because I want to play something longer, but just I'm kind of sitting on some stuff. Like I want to do System Shock and Baldur's Gate too, but I'm gonna wait. Even. Oh yeah, not surprised they they did. It's the big hot thing right now, Bebop. Well. Oh, 
巻き games to play. That's why I didn't play a whole lot more of You Suck at Parking last night. Thanks. You're that much closer to insert your game. Limbo 2 is inside. That game's good. Yeah, this is very Limbo. I mean, anything after 2010 in the cinematic platforming world is pretty much a Limbo type of thing. This definitely does not... Um, <laughs> good game not to play. <laughs> he found me out, man. He's hacked into my computer, the rootkit from all those installations from Genshin and Jump. Um, but yeah, the thing is like, yeah, after Limbo, I mean, don't get me wrong, Prince of Persia and shit, I was talking about it earlier, like, that was probably the big cinematic platformers back in the day, but I feel like Limbo, would you guys agree that Limbo is the one that really, like, kicked off this? Yeah, I'm really, <laughs> I'm all about, like, psychologically motivating viewer engagement here. I feel like Limbo was the one that really kicked off the kind of like cinematic platformer thing. I would say Limbo has more gameplay than most of these and more actual puzzles. Um, but that kind of like slower, you know, takes a while to jump. Not super fluid controls, kind of like immersive <laughs> 2D thing. Yeah. <laughs> I've mentioned it before, man. There's plenty of those kinds of people who come in for a game and leave, right? Yeah, you get you get them you get them wanting with the the carrot, man. And you never give it to them, man. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I would definitely say the limbo is probably very influential for this type of thing it's funny i was joking about it in this game earlier it's like 13 years later and i'm still playing limbo but like even more simple and it's like that's not necessarily bad but if your gameplay is going to be extremely like unengaging and simple then it needs to have like really strong art or sound or some kind of interesting like concept story-wise some pace I would say the problem with this one so far is while the art's really nice and some of the sound design is good, it's kind of like slow for a game that's got like sub limbo gameplay. Like it's cute you get to move the dude around. No, I mean, that's my thing is like 13 years later and I feel like you know, some of these cinematic games will try to have more gameplay, but like playing like pretty much Limbo with less gameplay 13 years later. And it's like the jumps and the movement is about the same physics and stuff. It's like, damn, man. Like, like it's fine if they can really nail what they're going for. But like, if you don't, then it's like you have so many games that are doing the exact same thing. Because you, you've just been so overexposed to the limbo formula at this point where it's like if you don't really nail those unique things to your game then it ends up just kind of being whatever. Yeah. Well like the, the second game they made was really good and that, that's another example of like really simple gameplay but really interesting like story and visuals and stuff. Where this has had cool visuals but been like an hour 
I did like a 10 minute like little weird call, but I'm like, I mean, an hour. And it's like, we really are just kind of focused on like gameplay stuff, but the gameplay is really dry. Um, yeah, it's kind of in the vein of like Prince of Persia and like Odd World. Um, yeah, it's a 2D puzzle platform here. It's harder than like this. There's a lot more like actual focus on gameplay. There's not like a shitload of story. It's more you just kind of run into these crazy places and get destroyed and do puzzles and stuff. But it has this kind of like, you know, animation lock physics and stuff. You don't really like turn on a dime or anything. And so games would take that element of it and make like cinematic story games out of it and like cut down on the gameplay even more. Even like this Inside did that, the second game they made. But like I said, with Inside, they nailed what they wanted to nail well. <laughs> it's like this, like, I don't know, man. I mean, we're an hour in, and I don't think this game's supposed to be more than like four hours. And it's, like, it's not like any of these situations we're in are like terribly riveting or anything, so. It's a line. Happens if you don't. Um, I like distract them. Yeah, he won't go past the light. Limbo's cool though, I think it's worth playing. And you can at least see the influence it has on an absolute shitload of indie games. And at the time, I mean, the Limbo was really novel. And I still think it'd probably hold up well enough. <clears throat> but I think overexposure to the cinematic platformer thing and a kind of a lack of innovation within it kind of not been terribly good for the scene. <laughs> It's kind of, I feel like, a way for like devs to kind of just try to show off art and story. But like I said, the problem is like, if you don't have that going on, then like you don't really have anything. Yeah, I liked it, but yeah, I can respect this liking it for maybe just it being interesting for the time. It had a lot of secrets and uh, the puzzles were kind of like fun enough, but I'm sure it would not feel as as interesting now, other than maybe the art style and shit, because it's been done over so many times at this point. The Limbo clones, yeah. Like I said, I mean, their sequel was fine. There's stuff that takes like elements of it, like your little nightmares and stuff, and make it work. So I don't think it's like necessarily bad to like copy elements of like Limbo, but ones like this that are like. This is like the most Limbo clone I've seen in like a long time. And brand new. <clears throat> like even down to the physics feels similar. So the only really new thing is like the little critter you move around. And I mean, he's cute and all, but it's not like, not like terribly that interesting. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, Putting a cursor on a spot for this little guy to fuck around with. Like the thing with like inside is that it's like almost immediately gripping, like interesting, because it has just this very kind of surreal atmosphere. And they kind of hit you with this like visual storytelling as you go through this like kind of few hour journey that kind of you know, you're kind of you're like, ah, oh, you know, what's going on here? And like the gameplay's there, but you're not not like super focused on it. But yeah, I 
the Netflix Witcher. Yeah, I heard the Netflix Witcher went to shit after the first season. Especially after they ditched the... What's his name? Henry, Henry Cavill. I didn't watch it. I don't have any interest in watching it. But... Well, yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. I mean, people do that on YouTube. Like, cutscene... Movies. This is just for the one on the top. We have to find four of these in the environment or something. Let's set them up correctly. to find right now. We can't move the top left one. So this be the one on the right. I just fall if I jump here. Another one hidden in the environment. I imagine we just line them up correctly. Oh, you can move it. What the fuck? Oh, I couldn't move it before. Well, that's what I'm after. Where are the other two? Some place they're hiding. Or maybe I'm just supposed to use the piping or something to figure it out. Maybe 
there's something in this room. Something farther back. It's unless they want me to like into it what the last two are. Imagine there's something just hiding around. there'd be like a like a puzzle you have to like kind of intuit but I just have to go find the, the symbols way far back. Oh, I need to do three and two. Three and two for the top one? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. It's that question where it's like, do you even bother having gameplay in something like this? Like, if you're gonna have it just be extremely light. I, it really depends on the player, too. I'm sure some people just, just love it to be like, like giga simple. That's the thing too, is it's not just about it being simple, it's like it doesn't, you know, the controls aren't like super tight or like anything because it's more animation locked and I get the point of it, right? It's cinematic, it's immersive, but it doesn't really do a whole lot for a gameplay. So it's like, should you even have like a two, like an hour, like long gameplay chunk at that point? Or do you just like cut to more like chase scenes or... To the the storytelling. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know, but it's interesting to think about. I think it just depends on how many of these like limbo clans you've played. It's that like kind of gameplay or whatever where it's like it's almost more tedious than it is like engaging. Can we get up on this brother man? One ugly mother. Pamaki. Pamaki. 
Oui, qui alors At least like Unravel and stuff had like crazy physics swinging and shit, right? <laughs> like there are these that like are kind of like cinematic platformers that still try to do like cool gameplay things. <laughs> Based. I could play Hot Wheels Unleashed. That came out this year. Is that close enough? It's like, don't get me wrong, it's like, I don't need to have, like, constant, like, gameplay stimulation. And, like, if they can focus on, like, the story, the, the thrust of it, and the visuals, that's totally fine, but, I don't know, like, the, the, the visuals look good in this, but there's not really much story. Like, your people get kidnapped, you meet a little dude, and, like, that's kind of the end of it so far. Like, Yeah, that game sounds sick, dude. Forza put out a Hot Wheels uh, racer too, an expansion. If I was a rich man and could just buy whatever, I would buy that. Cause you race on giant tracks. Or Lego tonight. Yeah, dude, this looks fucking insane. <laughs> Holy Kena, I'd play that for sure. Wonder serial games coming back. People hate the, the sugary shit nowadays. I wanna return back to like yeah, soulful product tie in games where they actually would try to just sell their product with fun instead of with fucking like predatory sub fucking subliminal messaging <laughs> and Twitter. Captain Crunch MTX. Uh, I've not played Shadows of Destiny, you know. Ninety-three million views. Game looks crazy, man. <laughs> Need to play this. Let me put it on a list somewhere. To be forgotten by all time, I guess, but yeah. Stunt back driver. Hmm, no, I've not played this. Pretty cool. Mystery game. Yeah, I'll put it on the list. Right, there's fucking like four games added.
play one game and then I add 20. I'm not joking about the Hot Wheels game. That shit looks fucking... You know, dude. <laughs> Emo. I'm not going to play it like right now or anything, but... So is Lego Island, like, Rebuilder, is that safe? Windows trying to, like, stop me from using it. But that's because, like, nobody's probably ever installed it, so it doesn't know if it's safe or not. Is that, like, a real thing you've seen, like, people have seen people play? I don't know why it would not be safe. Yeah, it's just, like, if I, like, who the fuck is going to, like, put some spyware in a fucking Lego Island? <laughs> Like fucking mod tool, but they're my IRL Lego pieces, dude. Those are my parents. I have to warn them. Mom, the Legos. He's like, oh shit. And I'll let the fucking Legos it opens the, the container. They're all gone. Oh, you guys can't hear the game. But that wasn't very long. You missed a couple squeaks. I was watching the Hot Wheels thing. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I think I need to get him up there. Yeah, we'll run through this, and I'm gonna go grab a drink with my brother. If it looks like I'm not gonna finish this before it's super late, I'll go grab a drink with my brother. And I'll see about installing that. Like I said, I wanna get to bed early and get the work done early tomorrow. Because we got the Sony thing. And then Tears of the Kingdom. If it looks like we got a comfy amount of time to install that and play it, we can do it, but... Otherwise, I'll Olay. have it ready for the future. Because I do want to... I, I have been talking about doing Lego Island for a long time. Olay. What? Dude, Olay. just fucking... You gotta press it once. You don't hold it. I'm surprised you can, like, multi... Have him follow, though. You can just keep pressing Olay. it. Olay. Olay. Even though he's, like, always following you. But I thought it was fine. I was like, oh, well, it went through the action. He must be stopped. But, like, no. You can just mass fall out. Kima. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I don't want to be like too down on this, but it's like... I mean, it's got a cool start with like this sci-fi, really nice, kind of like picturesque world and stuff. And then it's kind of just for an hour and a half now just... Kind of like Limbo. Limbo light. I'm like, I don't know. Like, if you're gonna... I Like, I, I respect wanting it to be, like, gameplay focused to a certain extent. But it's not, like, a head scratcher. It doesn't feel, like, super crispy to, like, move around or anything. Like, it's a cinematic platformer, right? Like... I feel like it should be a bit more focused on, uh... Something down here. <laughs> Point of all that up there. I was like, maybe there's something here. Um, I think it's just like... Like, if you're not going to really go anywhere with the gameplay... Like, it's it's pretty simple. Like, yeah, you know, you can control a guy, dude. That's cute. I mean, it's not like it fuck, but it's not really anything crazy, right? And like, that's kind of... Otherwise, it's very just kind of like mindless puzzles, like, which is fine if like you've got like some kind of like visual storytelling or we're going through this uh, varied like landscape that are just always we're always oohing and on over. Like El Shaddai looks like plays like shit, but like it's interesting because it's just a fucking art show every two seconds. Like you can get away with it, right? But it's like. After, like, the family gets stolen, it's, it's really just gameplay focused. And the gameplay is, like, really light. 
like I said, I don't have a problem with like light gameplay stuff. But I feel like all of the the the, the level design and the tasks they're having us do are just very bland so far. <laughs> I feel like these some of these movie type of games would be almost better off just being like an hour or two long, well paced like little movies you run through. I mean, it really depends on your exposure. I mean, I've played like a million of these, right? so I'll ask myself like, what's even the point sometimes on some of this? But some people are probably like. You know, I love that I just have to do the bare minimum. It's going back and forth. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, if you controlled like more like smooth, like a like a normal two D platformer, I mean that'd be that'd be one thing, right? And he still has that very like, like slow, deliberate kind of movement. Not in like a fun like, you know, Infernax, Castlevania type of way either. More like a, like a cinematic platform. We should play the original Prince of Persia, like the 2D one. Some people know that it started as a 2D series. <laughs> like the proto like version of like this kind of shit. But I feel like that probably even has more gameplay. The game looks nice, it's got the big, like, I don't know if I want to call it John Williams score going on, like, I mean, definitely a lot of effort, like, I respect that stuff, but, but an interesting initial concept, but, yeah, yeah, I hope it's going somewhere. I wonder what the word is on this, I wonder what people are thinking. Because, I mean, obviously somebody like me is probably going to be a bit more, you know, tired of some of these kinds of formulas. The general public, not so much. Mm. Excuse me. Get another drink. Down to Red Bull and I'm tired as hell. I don't want to over-caffeinate the liquor, but I want to get better early. I do not want to miss that Sony showcase. Not that I'm expecting greatness, but I like to stream it. swim but we died in water really <laughs> holy shit I breeze I mean that's fine if you think half of that 
Yeah, the buzzwords like highly inspired in there. What does highly inspired even mean? Never understood that one. I don't know if I just am not understanding the meaning of that correctly. Highly inspired to me sounds like it copied a lot of shit. <laughs> I hear inspired like like it took a lot of inspiration. A lot of inspiring. Yeah, yeah. That's more of a critic review. That's with all the way they talk about it there. I would say predictable gameplay is def never predictable. I don't agree with that so far. I, I think you could say the the beauty of the visuals and the, the soundtrack, sure. I could see somebody saying that. I'm not 100% there, but yeah. Hola. I mean, that kind of just hits, I guess, the basics. <laughs> I'd have to read details. I've heard 40k bull guns pretty sick so far. But it's a fucking boomer shooter, so... Yeah, most people are very kind of cinematic. I mean, the clear rate's probably super high. It's short. It's, you don't have... I mean, you don't, you don't have to try really hard, so almost anybody can play it. This game's like... If you... Sympathetic, like hard to be like kind of down on it because it's got, you know, that charm to it. You have to be a grouch, I guess, like me to make critique a fucking game about a little cuddly animal and a fucking kid. I guess in most people's minds, I'm still spending four hours on it, right? I mean, like I can see what I fucking want. It's not like I hate it, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, these generally are. Received pretty favorably. My thing is, it's just like, yeah, I mean, how much is enough when it comes to some of the gameplay stuff? Oh, right, cool. Well, thanks for being excited. I'm excited to do it for sure. If I knew I had like two days open before Tears of the Kingdom, I would probably just do just some shock and hand edition, but I think we're gonna end up uh, waiting until after Tears. Depending on how long I'm on Tears. Worst case, it would be uh, after Diablo. But I'd like to do it before that. Or after Gollum. I'll probably play Gollum first. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna accept that. That's a very influential first person shooter. Um, I thought about playing in the Enhanced Edition without the HUD, and then I just thought about it for a bit. I was like, why would I do that? I wanna play it with the HUD fully on, like, as they, as they made it, right? I'll just play the fucking remake right after, so. When I was just messing with all the settings, I turned that off because you can have like a big HUD or not. Like, why would I turn it off? It looks odd without it anyways. You can see more, but it's like... Kinda ghetto. Because you just have these big boxes hanging around in the open air. The old HUD though is like... Like, you know, it's like a, a box around the screen, kind of like a, like a you know or something. Tamaki. Hello. Yeah, I'm hoping it's good. Night Dive just got bought by Atari, didn't they? Curious how that's going to affect their output. This is their first full remake, right? Not just like a, a clean port remaster. Curious if they're gonna have 
nice attention to detail on it or if it's going to be like a blue point where they fuck it up once they start getting too much control. <laughs> One of my big fears, I'm not actually scared, like, that blue point gets a Bloodborne remake, and Sony pretty much, I th think Sony just owns blue point now, right? And I'm like, you know they're revving up to do a lot with Bloodborne, and they're not gonna just like make a PC port that runs at 60, right? Like, they're gonna want to make it like a, an event. They, re they remake Last of Us. They remake Bloodborne. But I'm like, good god, dude. Demon Souls looks so fucked. Right? Like, would you really want them to change what's a really good art style and like one of the biggest pluses, the biggest positives of Bloodborne? Thank god. I just, I don't, I would not trust them to not fuck it up. In some ways, the Demon Souls thing, man, like they're like almost Grezzo tier, dude. There's a big budget, like remake companies. It's like all people want is to just play it with a decent FPS, but I could see them going for the full $70 remake. Where we get sick, crazy, spiky arms and over designed monsters and shit. With the modern audience. I don't know, like, could a modder fix, like, an entire fucking art style, though? That's my thing. Like, the art style is very clean in this. It's just very crisp looking, kind of like painted almost. Oh, landscape. It reminds me a bit of uh, the people that made them. Uh, cool. They made not some of Jinsho, but they did uh, a movie as well. And I can't remember the movie, but it kind of has that vibe to it. But like, Can't be healthy for this guy, man. for this little dude, man. Oh, 
It's cool messing with the wildlife. I've had like a lot of variety on that. I have to go out and grab the drink here soon. I just need to go like a wake up, man. Fading a bit here. <laughs> like it's it's just one of those games where it's like you know what you need to do and then you spend five minutes doing it, but then it doesn't like feel like super great to control, so you don't even get that kind of like monkey enjoyment out of it. <laughs> like it looks good, but it's not like I mean it's a nice like looking background, right? Not like it's like telling a whole lot of the story or anything, right? I mean, spending like five, ten minutes on each of them, it's just like, kind of over some of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been kind of saying around this. Is it's kind of just like, I mean, I would say Limbo has more gameplay, right? And it's While this has like really nice art direction and stuff, Limbo's world at least felt like, like you wanted to know what the fuck was going on. Like I wanted to know what was going on after everybody like got kidnapped, but now I'm just like, it's been two hours, you know. I don't know. I don't hate it. Like I said, and I, I respect like some of some of the effort here. The visuals are, are crisp, and like, I like some of the sound design. Like I said, it's a. It's a very bloated uh, genre. And I feel like if you're not going to do something interesting with gameplay, um, usually they don't. Like, you're just going to do, like, the, the minimum, like, just really simple stuff. Then you really got to have, like, tight pacing, really gripping art, and, like, storytelling, or visual storytelling. Because <clears throat> these usually don't have a lot of dialogue. And I don't think the pace has been very good. I don't need like I'm not like some fucking zoomer that needs like <laughs> like five every five seconds something happening, but I mean nothing's happened. Which would be fine if it was like this insane art show, but like a lot of the time I'm just in like dark caves and shit. Like it looks good when they're giving you these nice open areas and stuff or seeing like alien wildlife. That's kinda it. And it's all generally meaningless, right? I mean, you're just, you're just seeing it. It's just kind of cool. I guess world building, but... 
it feels like one of those games that's gonna have a big ending and that's gonna what's sit with you and you just forget about the first three hours uh, i'm getting that vibe from this that's one of those it has like a strong last last hour or some shit oh, we'll see. Something going on here. And there's ancient tech on their planet. But also, aliens coming in and kidnapping them, or maybe they're from this planet. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like a good essay or something. You want the last bit to be really good, because that's the part you walk away with. <laughs> Or like if you have a bad ending in a story, people think about that more than they think about the journey. Certain genres and stuff that matters even more, like mysteries, but... We'll see. Yeah. And we are getting a lot of varied areas, I suppose. I don't think it's like enough that I can just survive on just that. As it is mostly kind of like nature, overgrown type of stuff. Which isn't, there's nothing wrong with that, but I mean, it's all fine. Not super new or anything, it really depends on how they act you. Like, look, this looks nice, right? This looks good. Have I just forgotten about the last two hours? No. <laughs> we'll see if this goes anywhere in. It's like when people joke about, ah oh, yeah, you know, the art team decided to make a game kind of thing and then it has like really dull gameplay. <laughs> like that's kind of the vibe you get. I don't know if it's quite on the level of it should have just been a small movie kind of vibe yet, but we'll see when we get there. Just go quick. Right, because everything takes like ten hours to do. Be like, can I just can I just make it? <laughs> I'm just gonna try. I need to finish tagging my list. It would be awesome to just be able to look at my list right now and just see every cinematic platformer I've played. Be good for conversation. I need to, one of these days. I need to just do a stream where I just sit there and tag but my own personal tags. It's like we can name a bunch, but the thing is, like a lot of them, yeah, the limbo legs. <laughs> a lot of them. I don't want to like just bring up limbo, right? Like there's there's plenty, but. Like that's the thing that some of them end up just kind of, you know. Would you put your journey likes in the same vein? It's pretty much just 3D platformer versions of of that. <laughs> the journey like, the limbo like. Journey like. Like your rhymes and omnos and journey and abzus and all that shit. That was them landing, I guess. I just happen to be holding right. I'm holding right this whole fucking place. Yeah. 
put some head and shit down here. to turn it off and he turned it back on dude this guy just killed me <laughs> crazy bastard man this guy up to man don't want to not go too far I was just thinking about like more creative ways maybe you could engage with the game. I mean obviously if you could have it be, you know, less derivative. I'm not saying like first person or third person or something, but you know, just different like viewpoint. Something could be a way to approach the cinematic storytelling thing. Not that those aren't used a lot too, like your gear asters and all that shit, but what kind of light gameplay could you have still and not have it be like, I just feel like it's like, this is probably like an easier approach. Like obviously a game that's in 2D is probably, you know, not easy as in like, they don't have skill, but like easy in the fact that like, you don't have to make as much crazy assets or you don't have to work in like the full 3D plane or something, right? Like you can control where the player is going a lot easier, but they see. I mean, it's not, you know, they don't, you don't have to make certain assets and stuff. I feel like from a game design perspective, like 3D is probably a little bit easier to maybe manage. Obviously, there's a lot of successful games that do this, so I get why it would be like appealing. But in 
terms of like pushing, pushing forward, pushing the boundaries. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would just be like, I'm just gonna make a limbo like, but then again, there's a lot of good limbo likes. Depends on how they do it. Hello, Roboman. It must be interesting to learn the, the thought process. Okay, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a game. That's gonna be you know, extremely similar to these ones here. And I guess the idea would be more to put your twist on the story and some light gameplay elements. I mean, you could do that with any genre. Like people, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna make a Metroid baby, or I'm gonna make a TV platform. Yeah, it's Estimate how long it takes for me to get moved. I don't think so. The best puzzle platformer of all time. Oh man. Now that's that is an immersive, yeah, cinematic platformer, dude. <clears throat> Maybe the best one. Yeah, that was mind numbing. The gameplay. I mean, the rest was pretty fucked, yeah, of course. The gameplay was. 
my crisp. Yeah, that's, that was a super mind knowing game. I mean, at least this, if it ends up the same, is like a four hour game. Right? Here you go. More seabed. Seabed, I'm guessing. Well, went so horribly wrong. Bro. All three Udas, dude. Ah, that was probably only like one or two Udas. We didn't even know about Seabed at that point. <laughs> oh, look at Shit like Chaos Head came out. AI too. The big ones. Now Degradi is out. I'm probably gonna do Witch on the Holy Night in Discord within a few months. Yeah. I'm not saying AI is good, I just, you know. It was a VN. Priority VN. I don't know. I'm just gonna play the Switch version, I think, soon. I'm probably just gonna do the Switch version in Discord. I think it's just, we, nobody knows right now when the Mahoya patch is coming, so it's just like, fuck okay. it. If I get a chance to rent it, I'll probably go for it. But that'll be at least a month from now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's been any word right now. Maybe it was like demoralizing <laughs> for there to be like a halfway decent new port version. Fell apart. Who knows? I have no idea. What about that. Why 
right now. Can't do it right now. Yeah, I think I've waited long enough on that one. I'm just gonna play it. Once we get some free time for it. That won't be a stream one though. It'll be a Discord. I thought he was doing the whole thing, but that's not right. I mean, he does pretty much all on his own. Well, not all exactly on his own, but all 14, so. I'd expect. Go to Jamaican Bond and tell you to read RGD and everything. What the fuck? This guy's Jamaican Bond. <laughs> RGD. All sorts of reasons to play random things, right? Hello. Uh, person has their circumstances, right? She's, it's a big one, man. Come on now. <laughs> I was like, yo, crazy murder shit. And a popular one. Let's give it a go. Man, I was so soaking just did all of it. feel any fear from these robots or anything. They haven't shown them like do anything outside of the initial kidnapping. They don't like fuck with anything. They don't know what they're doing with people or any threats or Oh, the actual number of songs in the soundtrack? Oh yeah, no, I'm sure it's a shitload. Massive budget game. Some side content. <sighs> and do I give a fuck, dude? I mean, seriously, this is gonna be. This is a long fucking trip. Two and fifteen track. I wonder if some of that's just like, like bullshit or if it's all like full track. Quite a bit. I'm definitely excited for sixteen, man. I hope it's, I hope it's sick.
Yeah, probably. Yeah, I hope it's good. I have that on guaranteed send, just like I did with fucking Tears of the Kingdom, but how that turned out. bad boy scoring right now <laughs> and I don't care too much but it's still like I mean like on a kind of like surface level kind of interesting morbid curiosity or like clearly the some of the paragraphs we read are glowing but I can't be the only one that's like damn it you're unengaging I don't think it's really doing anything. I mean, story-wise, interesting either. I mean, it's, it's barely telling a story here. Hola. It's mostly just, like, landscape porn in the back. Which, I mean, if you can get over the mind-numbing gameplay, maybe you'd enjoy it, but... Oh god, is Death Island? When is that coming out? That's hype. We'll have to watch that. Never predictable. Yeah, that was the biggest bullshit. <laughs> I, I can't take almost any of that seriously after that. Like, I'll joke around about games being, like, similar to, like, you know, old cinematic platformers like Limbo. But, like, this is, like... Hyper similar. Very predictable. Oh, yeah. Can I just draw that over here? Yeah. There's a lot of this shit, like, just walk across an entire room and then walk across the entire room again. Or drag something really long distances across the room. Like, oh, I have to flip this switch, which lets me run across the room and then move something across the room and then move him across the room so he could, like, cut that one bolt so I can run across the room with, like... Is that it, man? Hola. Like, it doesn't have to be tedious. Right? Not that I can't handle some slow moving. Yeah, I mean, it's not that. Damn, he's just the king, dude. He just sits there. Well, there's, like, being slow and, like, immersive and just having, like, a slow pace. And then there's just being, like, tedious, right? Like, there's nothing, like, going on here. Like, yeah, we could soak in the environment a bit, but... The art style isn't constantly gripping you. Like, there's no other goal for these scenes, man. It's just the gameplay. And the game is very... Hola, <laughs> muy... Time for the last hour. Is it? It's good five hours in then. Not bad. Also don't know how long, how far some of these paths will be. So you have to run really far then wait for like really long paths.
get this dude killed. And just move his corpse on it. I was gonna say something though. God. Okay, okay. I'm gonna fucking do it the slow long way. Qui alors next room and then we'll take a break um, for the sake of the VOD I'm gonna turn the stream off and then back on and we'll do the last chunk of this when I come back kind of open up with some thoughts and shit maybe I won't be gone for longer than probably 15-20 minutes but I might fill up my car with gas I gotta do some work tomorrow so take a little extra break here we are again. Okay, so anyways, I'll be back. Um, yeah, so far, I can feel myself nodding off sometimes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm sitting here and it's like that feeling where you're kind of like getting tired. And I am a little tired, but well, maybe it's that. But uh, the game's definitely not helping. Uh, so far though, yeah, I'll be back in 30 minutes to talk about it. But throw out a little thing here, I guess. Um, this is very dry. Um, yeah, I'm gri gri I'm I'm gripped, man. I feel like I need to grip my my bed. 
I don't want to just be that guy, right? Like, like some short attention span thing. I, I think the art's nice, but I don't think it's telling much of a story. I mean, obviously, like, your, your John Williams, whatever the hell score is, like, nice at times, but it's not there very often, and it's definitely not, like, doing much emotionally, right? It's not, like, stirring anything. It's kind of just there, right? I mean, maybe in the beginning it gives you, like, a feeling of, like, adventure, or, like, some kind of a whimsical something or other, but... Um, it's not crazy, but it, it's it's quality. I mean, you can tell there's some budget that went into music the art sure but i just don't think those on their own even if you think they're amazing which i think the art's nice i don't think they're so crazy or so varied or so compelling like they like they don't they don't stir anything crazy any that like they can make up for the gameplay and just very slow pace of the story i'm all for slow shit <clears throat> but like even the slowest stuff has purpose right <clears throat> and in this, I feel like it, the purpose is almost just to show you art. Obviously, they would, I mean, I imagine people would say, well, the purpose is the gameplay sections too, right? I mean, but they're so dry, man. Like, there's not much that they're very simple. They're mostly these kinds of, like, tedious kind of task-based puzzles where it's like, you know what to do. You just have to go through the motions of doing them over, like, five fucking minutes plus, And, like, they're designed to be kind of tedious. Like, you're dragging a log. For a minute and then you're dragging a log back for a minute and it takes like 20 different things to even get to the point where you can drag the log and it's just like come on man like it's not it's not like <laughs> mechanically like you know like you know monkey interesting but it's also not like you know intellectually interesting there's no like emotional stimulation going on uh, to go with that i'm not like moving you know like <laughs> i'm bringing up limbo at least I was moving a corpse in, like, limbo sometimes, right? In the water. And, like, it was, like, something, right? <laughs> like, like, there's something going on there, right? I think, uh... I, I respect wanting to focus on gameplay. But, like, you gotta know what you're, you're making, I feel like. Like, this is, like, a very, very simple... Kind of been there, done that, like... Um, kind of gameplay structure and mechanical... Uh, I think it's the same it's it's not going to carry it on its own I, re I really feel like the pace in this should be a little bit faster H have it be chill give me flashbacks build the world the relationship with the little creature show you know your ruins and tell us about you know the lore of the place and, and mix in like these sentient creatures you know these, these AI robots or whatever that are taking over shit but like you know, probably in a, I feel like in a pace that feels like there's some, some thrust, some momentum there, some kind of goal, or, or at least just, you know, we're like thinking about like the mystery of always, right? Like, even if you're seeing some of the mystery of these ruins, you, you don't care after 10 minutes into like a super brain dead puzzle. You've just, it, the pace is totally, like, it's just totally lost in there, so. It's like, yeah, I'm curious about like the, robots that kidnap the fucking like family but i'm like i don't know anything about them and it's like yeah i can sympathize with that like somebody you care about is getting taken but like you know i don't know them show me something give me something right like i don't need everything answered like if he just if they just showed me what robots were doing or just you know just made the world like you know maybe they're fucking with the world or just give me something like like, yeah, he yells out their name a lot, but I'm not, like, he's not, like, really doing a whole lot outside the beginning. He's, like, sad in the beginning, and then he's just kind of going along, right? Like, if you're not going to show them, like, you know, the kid, like, feeling something, like, just give me, like, something, right? Like, anything. Instead, it's like we're getting a couple ruins, and then we just go right back to just some easy-to-avoid robot with, like, a really long, tedious puzzle. And it's like, it's one of those, man. I've said it with some games, I wish I remembered which ones they were that are like this, where I'm just like, it would be better with no gameplay. <laughs> like, it'd be better walking in a fucking straight line, doing a jump occasionally. Like, if you're gonna, like, I respect going for full gameplay, but there's sometimes, like, if you just don't got something worth exploring, focus on what your real goal is. I don't know. Maybe that's just me.
Um, anyways, I'll be back. Hopefully it, like, picks up a little bit. Like I said, I like the art and stuff. And the general premise. It's kind of... Kind of boring, man. <laughs> like, straight up. Maybe I'll get some caffeine, will feel a little different, but... Right, I'll be back in 2030, something like that. I'll be back. I mean, I've only been up for like seven hours. That piece killed me. Hopefully I'm still tired tonight when I actually want to like get to bed early. God knows I'll be like tired. And then I'll be like, wide awake. It's time to go to bed. Anyways, I'll be back. I just don't want to like leave it sit for 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to take my time. Get to shit with my brother and stuff. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I know you guys are ripped, I'm sure. I'm, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll have to maybe see about setting that up in between as well. Or maybe I'll just do Metal Health Singer tonight or just break. We'll be ready for tomorrow. I do want to do it. We might not get to it tonight. We'll see on this game. Back in a bit. Thanks for watching. Sorry if you're like really big into this game and then I'm like kind of. Dog, and I'm kind of like holding back a bit. But I like.